Hey guys, this is Danny Boy. Next on the list is the Striker Assault Rifle. It was added to the multiplayer a long time ago. It was just added to the single player in the ground side resistance pack. It's unique in that it fires explosive rounds. It's a full auto assault rifle. It fires explosive rounds. Let us compare it to other assault rifles. Baseline would be the Avenger. So it weighs like twice as much as the Avenger, it has half the capacity, fires almost half as fast, does way more damage per shot, and it's less accurate. Okay, the Striker Assault Rifle. This is a difficult weapon to test. It has perfect accuracy regardless of firing from the hip, down the sights, or with a scope. It does not leave bullet holes, being that it is explosive. You really only want to aim for center mass. I would, I mean, I, I haven't confirmed this, but I would assume because it is explosive, there's no point going for headshot, so just go for center mass. It does have a very slight downward arc to it that's only noticeable at very long ranges. It can be fired single shot or full auto, and it fires faster the longer you hold down the button. It cannot be fired in burst because it fires too slow. And it has massive recoil. But just to show you, firing from the hip or down the sights, there's really no appreciable dis uh, difference. Then at short range, not seeing differences here. Mid range, still perfectly accurate when fired from the hip. And then again, no real difference when firing down the sights. Long range. Much the same. And now very long range. Again, you can start to see that downward slope just a little bit, so you might want to aim a little high of your target. It really doesn't matter, though. It's not very noticeable. And now, just to be thorough, we can throw in a scope. Point blank. Short. Mid. Long. And then very long. And you could see that arc again. So it really doesn't make any difference. I would only use the scope if it just helps you aim at longer ranges. Now let's test its massive recoil. We'll start by just firing from the hip, and we'll then use the sight, and then we'll use a scope. Alright, so full auto, point blank range from the hip. Recoil is there, but it's not very noticeable. Let's see if sighting it helps. Maybe a teeny tiny bit, but nothing major. Let's see, short range. It's noticeable, but it's not too difficult to compensate for at short range. Let's try sighting it. Sighting it, I think, actually makes it harder to compensate for the recoil at this range, just slightly. Now at mid-range. Still not tough with just the bang from the hip. Now, sighting. Yeah, again, it's harder to keep it down at mid-range, sighting it. Might want to aim a little low to start, actually, like at the feet. Yeah, that helps out immensely. If you're going to sight it, it seems aiming at the feet and then working your way up helps a lot. Or just firing from the hip. That has become a lot harder to deal with. Let's try sighting it. Uh, a little better sighting it, but I also started from the from the feet. It seems to be fairly comparable. I would definitely aim low at long range, even from the hip. It's explosive anyway, so you would hit them with a splash if you hit the floor. Now very long. That that's rather difficult to, to compensate for. That was all over the place from the hip. Sighting it was definitely better. 
Noticeably so. Let's try throwing in a scope. Alright, scoped at point blank. Actually, far worse than firing it from the hip or sighted at point blank. That was kind of wonky. Pretty similar to firing it sighted at this range with the scope. But it's definitely still harder to control, significantly more than when just sighting it. And aiming for the feet did not help as much. Uh, I would say scoping this weapon is actually a, a pretty bad idea if you intend to fire it full auto, which I assume you would. It makes compensating for the recoil very difficult. Almost... Like, Im not impossible, but... Unless you have a lot of mouse to work with, a lot of mouse pad to work with. Seems counterproductive. Yeah, that... that's pointless. Okay, so... This weapon, I would, I would personally just not use a scope. Unless you're only going to fire at single shot and at very long ranges, and even then, it's far from necessary. It doesn't really help, it just might help you aim because you can actually zoom in. I think there are far better mods for this thing than a scope. A recoil mod certainly comes to mind. This thing has a hell of a kick. Firing it full auto at point blank range and short range, I would just fire from the hip, even maybe at mid range. At long range, at very long range, it really seemed to help to sight it and just aim for the feet and just have it naturally work your way up, though you still do need to kind of push down to compensate for it. Even at mid range, it might be best to fire sighted and aim for the feet and work your way up. And it is explosive, so it has an area of effect. So you can aim for the feet and still hit them. Kind of like a rocket launcher. Okay, so yeah, that's basically it. This was the Striker Assault Rifle. Thanks guys for watching. Stay tuned for more. Please like the video if you liked it. Please sub if you'd like to see more. Leave comments and feedback. Ask questions and I'll get back to you. And have a good one.